Boulder Arts Week is a celebration of Boulder's vibrant and varied arts community. It runs from March 26th through April 3rd. Joining us now is Lauren Click of the Office of Arts and Culture. She's also the director of Boulder Arts Week. Lauren, we're grateful to have you here. And considering the events in Boulder back on March 22nd, why is it important for Arts Week to just go ahead and, and stick to what is planned? Thanks for having me. Uh, first, I have to send our condolences to the families and the friends of the victims. I mean, I think in Boulder, we're still in shock and heartbroken. And it is important for Boulder Arts Week to go on because it's a time for us to be with our friends and support our family members and our neighbors. And the arts are one of the ways that we can feel solace and connect to our community and, and help us grieve. Absolutely. And you know, we're also still in the midst of a pandemic. So how are Boulder Arts Week events proceeding safely? Our arts community has really um, come to it this year. We have over 90 programs, 30 of which are online. So if you want to stay home with your family, we also have some self-guided walking and biking tours, and we do have live events. Any of the live events have to follow all COVID restrictions, state and countywide, and our arts community is really conscious and safe. So tell us, Lauren, what, what will people be able to do? What can they see during Boulder Arts Week? And, and tell us a little bit more of what's on the calendar. Sure, there's programs and events really for any taste. We have uh, music, dance, film, live events, online events, right? There's um, art making and interactive things if you want to make something, if you want to buy art. We also have free events and inexpensive events and ticketed events, which is important for our arts community. See if you can pay an artist this year. That's awesome. I mean, I think it's so wonderful to, to have all these options. You know, how would you encourage folks to perhaps take part? Sure, it's very easy, boulderartsweek.org, or you can follow us on social media, Boulder Arts Week on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. This year, also TikTok and Snapchat. I think we're pretty good at it. <laughs> there you go. That's one way to get, I guess, some of the millennials and the other generations, <laughs> younger generations involved. <laughs> uh, you know, this last year, gosh, it has really impacted all of us so differently and, and in so many ways. And I know that the arts community has been especially hit hard. So tell mm -hmm. us maybe how Boulder Arts is, is you know, Know, coping and, and working through this and, and how people can help. Sure, thanks for asking. Um, Boulder is one of the most vibrant arts communities in the United States. We have, um, we're in the top 2% in the concentration of artists and arts organizations and businesses. So when the pandemic hit the arts industry, it really, really impacted Boulder as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, statewide, the creative the Colorado Creative Industries estimated 50% job loss in our industry just from April to July last year, so more now. And really the best and most important thing that you can do is buy tickets, buy art, go see, go to programs, go to theater, watch it online. It's important to, um, to focus on Boulder and focus on your neighbors and your family in this one week. Take that time to see what you have going on in, in our neighborhood here in Boulder. And if you are low on funds, we understand, obviously, follow your friends and your artists, friends on social media, follow organizations you like on social media, go to free programs. Just showing that you care about the art that's being made is really important. And I couldn't agree with you more. And I think the more we can support our communities now more than ever is very important. So Lauren, thank you so much. It sounds like there are a lot of great offerings from the arts community over the next week. Again, Boulder Arts Week does run through April 3rd. And we have a link to the calendar on our website, cbsdenver.com.